hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl marceline with another video today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make this beautiful jar of saril jelly or as we call it in jamaica jam yes guys i'm going to be showing you how to make this so don't go anywhere guys if it's your first time on my channel just hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up so guys i went ahead and i put four cups of water to boil and now i'm just gonna go ahead and rinse my sorrel thoroughly as you guys can see i don't have the fresh sorrel so i am using the dehydrated one so either one can work guys if you have the dry one or the fresh one that's fine So guys now that my water is ready i am gonna go ahead and add my sorrel i am gonna add a stick of um, cinnamon i'm gonna add some allspice some orange peel and i'm also gonna add a piece of lemon peel So guys now it's time to add my ginger and you don't want to overpower your sorrel with the ginger for your jam because it's not like you're making sorrel drink you're making jam and you want it to have that nice sorrel flavor so just add the amount to give it a nice touch but not to overpower the sorrel so guys before you peel your orange you want to make sure that you wash it thoroughly and make sure that you wash your lemon as well make sure that they're nice and clean before you put them in your juice so guys after adding my lemon peel i'm just gonna allow my sorrel to boil for 10 minutes then i'm gonna remove it from the stove and add my remaining ingredients So my sorrel has been boiling for 10 minutes and it's time to strain it off and you see all that sorrel in the pot guys it's so strong so what I did was I added some more water to the pot and make some sorrel drink. okay guys so to get that jelly like consistency you're gonna need pectin however i could not find any in my stores so you would have to order it online it's on amazon and it's also on ebay so you can go ahead and order it online but to get the jelly like consistency i'm gonna be using this jello this strawberry jello and it's gonna also gonna add an extra flavor to your jam also i have this unflavored gelatin which i'm gonna use a small amount of however guys remember that gelatin is sourced from animals so if you're vegetarian you cannot use this pectin is made from fruits and vegetables so if you're vegetarian that's the one you want to get to make your jelly So guys while my sorrel is still hot i'm gonna go in with my sugar and i'm using two and a half cups of sugar again you have to do it according to your taste if you like your jam really sweet then you can add more but i just add one and a half cup of sugar
so guys remember earlier i added a pack of jello now i'm gonna go in with half pack of unflavored gelatin yes the first one had strawberry this one is unflavored just to ensure that my sorrel comes out really nice and jelly yes so while um this is happening guys i have my jar getting ready my jar is getting prepped and ready it's being sterilized you want to make sure that your jar is being sterilized properly so that's what i am doing here and then i'm gonna put my sorrel to rest guys while i was cooking dinner i have my sorrel in the fridge and this is what it looks like guys it's nice and jelly yes guys and it tasted really good on the bread yes you have to try this recipe guys um i'm gonna leave all the ingredients in the description box for you guys and as i said before you can source the pectin online on you can order it on amazon as well as ebay so i'm gonna leave all the ingredients in the description box for you guys to try this out because you can have this christmas morning when you're making a your breakfast you can use it when you're making your um when you're doing your pot roast or whatever you can use this in it as well to make your sauce as well as your turkey whatever you're doing on thanksgiving or christmas you can have your sorrel a little touch of jamaica a little touch of the caribbean you know you have your sorrel jam right here with you so yes guys i hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed as yet give this video a thumbs up and drop a comment in the comment section let me know if you guys are gonna try this recipe all right thank you guys for watching and don't forget you can source your pectin online if you are a vegetarian and you cannot have the gelatin you can source your pectin on amazon all right Bye, guys.